you, there's no time. Hello, everyone. Welcome. This is Post Wacy Interview, and I am honored because right now we have our one of our Wacy winners in the uh, middle school category, and they won the Design Excellence Awards, and their project it is called Fire Patrol. Folks, welcome, and thanks for being here, and congratulations to all four of you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Why, by the way, uh, folks that are watching us, you can see the link to this presentation, uh, the Fire Patrol, at the bottom of this video. But before we go further, why don't we take a round and uh, the four of you, why don't you introduce yourself to our audience, the ones that don't know you, but you're famous right now. Everybody knows you. <laughs> Some people might okay. not. Um, I'm Aris Tzalakis. I'm Yari Tzalaki. I'm Antonio Sardellinos. And I'm Yasser Sardellinos. Well, they're all in your seven. And you are all in grade seven? Yes. yes. Yeah. That's wonderful. So first of all, how did this team come together? Um, we were friends from a very young age, and when we got the opportunity to work together, we immediately said yes. We have the you same... have the opportunity to, to work together. How was Where does that opportunity came from? Where uh, you... We have the same uh, uh, teacher, and uh, she... And then uh, he asked us about this tournament and if we want to be in, in it. So we said uh, yes, and we joined this team. So we, mm -hmm. the team and we formed a team, we all together, and, and we worked very well we together. Worked, uh, we worked, yeah. So we've known each other for a long time, since nursery. In I, you know what, and, and I love the way you, all of you are kind of turning, taking turns and you're very comfortable and you know when who's speaking when and this and that. But now let's talk about a little bit of your project. For those of, for those of us that don't know your project and haven't seen it yet, Tell us a little bit about where this project idea come, came from and how did it actually develop? Uh, two or so years ago, there were many fires in Greece and one of them was near all of our homes. So we decided to make something to prevent the fires. Yes, and that's why we created the project Fire Patrol, which um, helps the fire department um, detect fires. By using drones, and uh, and uh, the drone has a, cam a lot of cameras with thermal imaging. Um, yeah, that. and uh, yes, we, that's great. We, now, we tell teams okay, no, go ahead, go ahead. You were gonna say something because there was a we, bit of a delay, so I had a hard time hearing it. But go ahead. Uh, so we were. We were in teams, so we worked in two different teams. Me and Yasuna worked on the worked on designing the project mostly, and I and the other worked us. on like the presentation, and like helped to build the ideas. So that's amazing. This is like almost a company. So yeah. everyone had yeah, we a but also you had two distinct teams. Yes. 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 That is so cool. For those of you folks that are watching, this is all about this is all about teamwork, but also every one of the team members have core competencies and they have various elements that they 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 are perhaps stronger about, stronger um, uh, in it or they have uh, more um uh, passion about that. So either design, application, the presentations and so on and so forth. So that's really awesome. Now tell us a little bit about some of the challenges that you have. Both Technical challenges, but also as you were doing this project, non-technical challenges. Um, a major challenge was certainly communication. We we all have a busy schedule, so it was like hard finding a time that all of us could like meet and like discuss what we were gonna do. But eventually, we found time and. Uh, Everyone had our part, so we knew what we were going to do, and we all put it in the presentation and uh, in the like, team. I showed it to everyone. That's amazing. And any other challenges on the technical front that you might have uh, uh, had and overcome? Um, no, we, we didn't have any major um, challenges. We didn't have as major challenges in technicalities as we mostly knew what we were working with yeah. uh, but 
um, we did need to sacrifice a lot of our time to create a data set. And uh, tell us a little bit about your data set. Uh, it contained hundreds of images. Uh, I don't remember. It's, it contained over 100 images. I don't remember exactly how many, I'm pretty sure 152. Uh, but the original data set was around 50 images. And then we used the augmentation and pre-processing steps to uh, multiply that data set and ended up with over 100 images. That's amazing. That's amazing. Now, um, I want to move a little bit forward and I want to talk to you about the role of your families and also your teachers. Um, how was that? You know, how was, talk to me a little bit about how you included and worked with your teacher or also how your families uh, supported you throughout the process as you got prepared for WACI? Well, our families really support us. They gave us everything we needed um, in order to um, participate and mm -hmm. achieve this. Yes. Um, and they really helped. Mm -hmm. And our teacher was also there with us. There with us the entire time. Mm -hmm. And he helped uh, us a lot as well. Yeah. That's amazing. You know, I'm proud of you. A lot of people that, uh, all the judges that scored you are very much proud of you. People that are watching us right now are proud of you. But I'm sure your parents and your teachers are a million times more proud. You should be proud of yourself. Now, um, mm -hmm. I would like to ask you about your message for the people that are watching us. which There could be students like you, I don't have any AI experience or haven't participated in the competition, or maybe they participated and they did not win. But in, in my opinion, if you're part of this WACI conversation, you're all winners, but, but some happen to be recognized a bit more, but that doesn't change the fact that we're all trying to use AI to, some, to, to solve some of our pressing problems that we're facing in the world. So let's go around. And I would like for the four of you to have the last words to our audience and we can go around. What is your message to our, to the students uh, that are watching us today and uh, uh, about AI, about your participation, but in a way, the microphone is yours, the podium is yours. So why don't we start? Okay, so um, never give up and always try um, to achieve your goals. Try your best and eventually with all the hard work, you're going to achieve what you want. Uh, try to push through it as much as you can. If you have technical issues, you can use the internet to help solve them and generally ask others. Um, don't be afraid of from the stage. Be comfortable. Take uh, two deep breaths and... Uh, be yourself, be yourself. I totally agree with you. And on taking a deep breath, I always do it before talking. I, I still do it. It really does help. But the fact of the matter is you've done a great job. Folks, if you're watching us, the link to Fire Patrol for, uh, is at the bottom of this presentation. Take a look at it. They've done an amazing job. I'm very proud of you. Uh, you did such a wonderful job. You competed among over 114 countries and you are... Um, in the middle school category, you won the uh, Excellence Award, and we're very proud of you. Keep up the good work, and uh, we look forward to see you in WACI 2023, and I hope you participate. We will. Yeah. <laughs>